My gentle and, of course, very modern apes, allow me to introduce you to one of the strangest channels here on www.youtube.com, After School. This is a channel that seems to alternate between benign monologues with cute cartoons to woo spirit science and French hypotheses with cute cartoons. If there's anything I'd like you to take away from this video, it's that you really can sell anything if you put enough adorable drawings into it. Those cute cartoons are how they get you. talking about one of the most incredible videos I've seen on After School, titled The Lost Ancient Humans of Antarctica. And by incredible I mean late stage history channel bonkers. The video starts with our narrator suggesting that conventional anthropology is wrong. This is a neat, clean, linear path to teach in schools. But what happens when we find evidence that doesn't fit the mainstream puzzle? before letting us know that the video comes from Gaia. Gaia has been generously described by some as Netflix for insane people, and although it certainly has a full library of woo spirit science videos that are benign to dangerous, what is perhaps more interesting is its recent legal troubles. Gaia settles million dollar lawsuit against filmmaker Patty Greer. Well, that sounds kind of bad. A year after Boulder-based Gaia filed suit against Patty Greer in the District Court of Boulder, Colorado, the self-proclaimed Netflix of spiritual films has settled with the filmmaker. Over the past decade, Greer created eight documentaries and won five EBE awards at the International UFO Congress Convention. Her most recent film, 2016's The Crop Circle Diaries, looks for plasma energy, super seeds, and binary encoded messages in the United Kingdom. A vigorous and passionate spirit, Greer previously ran vintage clothing store Golden Oldies on Pearl Street in Boulder and co-founded Coop Studios. You know what? Good for her. The real question is, why is Gaia stooping to plagiarism when they have such a fine catalog of content to call their own? Ooh, wait till you see the... Ooh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, look at the top of his head. <laughs> So as you can see, we simply have no choice but to delve into this video together as a team. So let's begin. In 2014, Dr. Neil Ross and a team of scientists from the University of Bristol's Glaciology Center published their discovery of a valley the size of the Grand Canyon in West Antarctica. Despite being covered beneath several kilometers of ice, the depression was so vast that it could be seen from space. Okay. Some theorists were quick to conclude that before the Great Ice Age, Antarctica, like the six other continents, was likely to have been home to ancient civilizations. Does some theorists. You see what they did there? They combined the old slide in some conventional science and then without pausing to let you know that these subsequent theorists are in fact crazy people, they slap that in there on the edge, making you think that it is in fact the original authors or at least adjacent scientists who are these mysterious theorists. 
it should come as no surprise that tracking down the referenced paper yields no conversation about any such ancient lost civilizations of humans in Antarctica. Curiously enough, neither do other papers about big trenches or canyons in the Antarctic wastelands. Dr. Ross eloquently summarized that the implications of his research served merely to demonstrate how much we still have to discover about our planet. Very true, and I'm sure he meant that about the canyon and other geologic formations in Antarctica due to the fact that it's covered in ice and most of it is unreachable, and not about ancient human civilizations in Antarctica. But could it be possible that there are ruins, perhaps ruins even older than Gobekli Tepe, to be discovered deep beneath the glaciers? So you might be thinking, this feels a little bit out of left field to me. How are we going from canyon found underneath the ice in Antarctica to ancient civilizations found in Antarctica? Where is that connect? Well, in a moment, Gaia is going to have a special guest tell you all about how due to the global climate change and the shrinking of the ice, the melting of the ice, it's getting a lot easier to see underneath said ice. And we might find stuff down there. One of the surprises is that the satellite images are sending back now what appear to be large-scale, complex archaeological sites. So they're, they're not small hunting villages and pit houses. These look like advanced technological civilizations that we're seeing underneath the ice. One of the reasons this is a problem for historians is because the ice sheet and, uh, in Antarctica uh, originated most recently, we've had multiple ice sheets, the most recent about 20,000 years ago. And that opens the door to the question, who was here 20,000 years ago to build complex archeological structures on the continent of Antarctica? So Greg Baden, geologist, did actually get his BS in geology, but he's not known for any geology publications. No, he's better known for appearing on Ancient Aliens, for one time claiming that the Earth's magnetic poles were indeed about to reverse and said magnetic reversal would indeed impact the DNA of humans, as well as the idea that human emotions can impact their DNA. He also has a lot of very woo spirit science books that have been published. And a lot of these books have names that sound like movie titles from Pure Flix Entertainment. So, you know, really great source. We can definitely trust Greg Baden. No problems here. And what role does that play in the history and the mythology uh, that's almost universal of ancient civilizations? It may be. What we now see is the six cradles of civilization very soon will expand to at least seven and possibly more. Absolutely incredible. We have gotten exactly zero evidence or support for these <laughs> mysterious Antarctic civilizations. Um, well, no, wait, we did have that white square. Large scale, complex, archaeological sites. So they're, they're not small hunting villages and pit houses. These look like advanced technological civilizations that we're seeing underneath the ice. You get reports occasionally of structures being found emerging out of the ice at Antarctica. So these reports of megalithic structures popping up out of the Antarctic ice have been showing up a lot recently, and it will please you to know that the conspiracy theorists who are thinking that these are ancient pyramids or temples or what have you built you know, tens of thousands of years ago by these ancient civilizations that somehow managed to make it to Antarctica and indeed brave the local weather, these folks are unbothered by the conventional explanations for such regular geologic phenomena. Most of these claims end up being standard geologic structures that have unique melting and refreezing cycles. 
However, it is unlikely that any level of sassiness from a professional geologist will be able to curb the insatiable desire for conspiracy theorists to claim that these structures are in fact pyramids, temples, or UFOs. So these are going to be very, very ancient indeed. Uh, and they could easily be the product of hybrid descendants. Hybrid descendants? Hybrids of what? I mean, we can probably guess. Could it really be true that there was once an unknown civilization of ancient beings in Antarctica? No, it could not be true, and it will continue to not be true until we get a standard of evidence that's a little bit higher than spotting white rectangles on Google Earth. In 1929, a map was discovered inside Istanbul's Tokapi Palace, depicting Antarctica before it was covered with ice. Yes! An ancient map depicting the coastline of ancient Antarctica before it was covered with ice? Now this is the hard-hitting support and evidence I'm talking about. Let's dig into it a little bit. I'm sure it'll hold up. It turns out this map is firmly held by conventional science and scholarship to depict South America, in part because it misses the key Drake Passage, which would have been one of the more obvious features of the Antarctic coast. While mainstream scientists are resistant to get behind these findings, no other explanation for the mysteries this map presents have been offered. Well, to be fair, in order to appreciate the conventional explanation, you do have to be able to read. We are about to hear from official sources that architecture has been located in Antarctica that will confirm that there was, in fact, intelligently built ruins down there. And that would be a world-changing thing of significance. First of all, David Wilcox wrote a book about how astrology helps tie everything together, so let that sit in your head for a bit. And second of all, good! I look forward to this Antarctic disclosure. You ever notice how it's always Antarctica? Whether it's the Flat Earthers or the Hollow Earthers or whatever garbage this is with Gaia, it's always Antarctica. I wonder what it is about the ice that perturbs them so. Anyways, my brain has curdled for this much prolonged exposure to Gaia's streaming services, ancient civilizations, the humans of Antarctica, as presented by After School. Yes, that is a mouthful. So what we're going to do is we're going to pause here and we're going to pick up at this spot in the video next time. So thank you very much, my gentle and modern apes. <laughs> Little boy.